That's how we say hello here on the island. Welcome to Lola's Lanai, the greatest resort in all of Hawaii. My name is Brooke and I live here on the island with my grandmother Lola. Actually, we live right here at Lola's Lanai, so welcome to our home. Hey, I have a great idea. Since you're here at my house, would you like to pretend to be part of my family? Oh, that's awesome. On the island, we call family Ohana. Can you say Ohana? <laughs> Great. Ohana means family. Here on the island, we are one big family, even if we don't live in the same home or share the same parents. Having all of you here makes me so excited because I've always wanted a big family. You know what? I think we need to stand up and celebrate with a fun song. Oh, good. Thank you. 
With your help, we'll find these two lava rocks so much faster. Now, do you see any lava rocks hiding over here? I do too! Let's pick it up and pretend to put it in our basket. Pretend with me. Oh, great job. Do you see any lava rocks over here? I do too. Let's pick up our second lava rock and put it in your basket. Great job. Oh my goodness, I think we collected all two of the lava rocks that we needed. But let's count our lava rocks to make sure we didn't drop any. So count with me. One, two. We found all two lava rocks. Now we better get these back to Lola. To get back to Lola's lanai, just say this after me. I love the island. And dance in the hula. So let's go back to see Lola. This is Ruth. She's part of our Ohana from long ago. Ohana is how we say family here on the island. Ruth lived in a place called Moab and was married to someone who was a part of God's family. One day, Ruth's husband died. Instead of going back home to her own family, Ruth stayed with Naomi, her husband's mom. Naomi's husband had died too and Naomi wanted to go back to her hometown to live with her family. But Ruth didn't want to leave Naomi. They were family. She knew that Naomi would need help, so she decided to go with Naomi back to her hometown. Let me see you pretend to walk like Ruth and Naomi traveling. When Ruth and Naomi made it to Naomi's hometown, they needed some food. Naomi had a family member named Boaz, who was a very important man with many big fields of food to eat. To help get food, Ruth went to Boaz's fields and gathered grain that the workers dropped on the ground. Ruth worked hard from morning to night, gathering little pieces of food to help her family have food to eat. Let's all pretend to pick up small pieces of grain from the ground. One day, Boaz visited the fields and started talking to his workers. He saw Ruth working so hard and heard about how she was helping Naomi. Boaz told Ruth to come every day to collect food from his fields and drink their water when she was thirsty. Boaz could have kept all of the grain to himself, but he knew Ruth needed the food, so he helped Ruth by sharing what he had with her. He told his workers to leave behind big pieces of grain that would give Ruth and Naomi plenty to eat. Everyone clapped for Boaz being such a loving helper to his family. When Ruth got home with all of the grain she had collected, Naomi was so happy. She knew Boaz had helped their family. Later, Boaz knew he should marry Ruth and help her and Naomi for the rest of their lives. And this is how they became part of the Ohana family God has given us. God gave you a family that loves you very much. When you choose to help others and put them first, it shows love to God and to our Ohana. Let me hear you say this after me. I can I, I can help help my family. My family. Great job. Aloha Lola. You know what? We are a lot like Ruth and Boaz in this story. We work together to help Lola get all of the lava rocks she needed. And those rocks don't just help Lola, but they help everyone who comes to Lanai. You and I can love our families by helping them. So let me hear you say this after me. I can help my family. 
And speaking of family, that reminds me of a song I know. Let's all stand up and sing it together. Love each other, love each other, as brothers and sisters, as brothers and sisters, in honor of If you can tell me what you learned on the island today, you can get a tasty snow cone. So let's get busy building your cool treat now. Tell me, did Ruth help or run away from Naomi? Help! Yes, Ruth stayed with Naomi and did all she could to help her because she loved her so much. Let's load up this first snowball with yummy syrup. Okay, now it's time for your next snowball and your next question. Did Boaz keep all of his grain to himself, or did he share it? Shared it! You're right! Boaz knew that Ruth and Naomi needed help. He didn't keep all of his grain to himself, but Boaz put others first and shared it with Ruth and Naomi. Let's load up this snowball with some yummy syrup. It's looking delicious, but I think it needs one more scoop of ice. And you know what that means. One last question. Can you help your family by throwing toys or by cleaning your room? Cleaning your room! Yes! Helping our families shows love to others and to God. God gave you the family you live with and your Ohana family to love and help. Now it's time to put the yummy syrup on this last snowball. This looks perfect! Only the best for my Ohana! Enjoy your snow cone! Aloha! Aloha, Anu! Thank you! Everyone, grab your spoons and let's pretend to eat these snow cones up. <laughs> yeah, I know. I am so glad 
I could share this cool treat with all of you because you are my Ohana, my family. I better get back to the front desk and help Lola. But before I do, don't forget that God wants you to love your family by helping and putting them first. So let me hear you say this after me one more time. I can help my family. Great. I hope you have fun on the island and I will see you again soon. Aloha.